Houthi official promises safe passage for Russian and Chinese ships. Here's a summary of the article. Your profile can be used to present content that appears more relevant based on your possible interests, such as by adapting the order in which content is shown to you, so that it is even easier for you to find content that matches your interests. Content presented to you on this service can be based on your content personalization profiles, which can reflect your activity on this or other services, possible interests and personal aspects. Information regarding which content is presented to you and how you interact with it can be used to determine whether the content e.g. reached its intended audience and matched your interests. Reports can be generated based on the combination of data sets regarding your interactions and those of other users with advertising or content to identify common characteristics. Information about your activity on this service, such as your interaction with ads or content, can be very helpful to improve products and services and to build new products and services based on user interactions, the type of audience, etc. Content presented to you on this service can be based on limited data, such as the website or app you are using, your known precise location, your device type, or which content you are interacting with. Certain information is used to ensure the technical compatibility of the content or advertising and to facilitate the transmission of the content or add to your device. This post received a score of 4,900, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Does this surprise anyone? We are doing this to disrupt trade with Israel because any and all economic damage that can be done to Israel will help stop genocide. Oh hey, Israel's third biggest trading partner. Dot nah, you are cool. Go ahead. Oh hey. Did they ever stop to think that disrupting shipping would disrupt aid supplies to Gaza? No. They Iran and Russia are trying to apply pressure to the West so they will stop supporting Israel and Ukraine. They don't really care about people. It's all about winning a war. This kind of tactic so rarely goes well for the perpetrators. They dismiss the anger of the people at their own peril. There are always limits. In the case at hand, they are counting on the greater anger being focused on the West. Alternatively, they will let those more angry at Hothi to get martyred by the Israeli military. People power is always more limited. I can't imagine that this course of action will win them support in Egypt. Making the Red Sea too dangerous for trade ships will hamper Egyptian revenue. This will drive Egypt closer to a partnership with Israel. Seems self-defeating. In an interconnected, global trade, cargo vessels bearing Western flags may likely transport Chinese-made goods. Heck, even American products en route to Western allies who support Israel would inevitably carry footprints of Chinese commerce. Absolutely. The attacks have been heavily impacting Chinese trade, as razor-thin profit margins evaporate due to having to reroute around Africa. It's the cost of shipping containers that are at risk here, not the boats that they are on. Doesn't matter what the Houthis say, their impact on the Red Sea shipping route is a profound hit for an export-based economy like China. I have a client, it support, in Canada that is looking to move production back home because price of container exploded already when COVID and blocked canal hit. It went from like 6,000 United States dollars in 2015 to 24,000 United States dollars in 2023 and now with reroute he expects this to go up another 30 to 50 percent. Long term it's just not worth it. If they could have afforded it, they should have localized production in the first place. Hum. 1. Localized production. 2. Save 20k. Hum. It's not a one-time thing. He gets about 6 to 8 containers a year. So at 30k plus USD a pop it just adds up. Is there confirmation that the crew of the ship they hijacked is still alive? The statement about their welfare seemed a tad too ominous. Most of the time, when a ship gets hijacked by pirates, the crew does stay alive and they are often holding them hostage for even more money. So it's quite likely. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.